Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us for today's AUKUS Defense Minister's Joint Press Briefing. The ministers and I also reviewed our, ma our major accomplishments within the crucial second pillar of AUKUS. And through Pillar 2, we have leveraged our respective defense innovation and industry sectors to develop and deliver advanced capabilities so that our warfighters can hear, see, and act with decisive advantage. We're innovating with cutting-edge tech in several areas, including artificial intelligence, electronic warfare, and quantum technology. And by implementing strong standards of technology protection, we are reducing barriers to sharing information and technology. And we're streamlining our processes to deliver these capabilities and lead our partnership forward to for the next generation. I think today's meeting will be regarded as a critical moment in the history of Pillar 2 of AUKUS, and that is the sharing and development of advanced technologies between our three countries. We're putting in place um, the architecture which will enable that to happen through uh, the International Joint Requirement Oversight Council, uh, which will give a uh, joint capacity to look at the technologies which we, with which we are pursuing. Um, our armaments directors will be working together with a tabletop exercise next year, and as Lloyd mentioned, um, our innovation organisations, the Defence Innovation Unit uh, of both the United States and the United Kingdom along with the Australian Strategic Capabilities Accelerator uh, working together on joint challenges uh, which we'll see initially that happen in the space of electronic warfare. Having strike capabilities are really important um, and when you look at something like uh, resilient precision targeting, uh, which forms part of the announcements today, that is critically important. Uh, when you look at the maritime autonomy measures that are contained in the announcements today, that's hugely beneficial uh, for a, a country like Australia. Uh, I think the third area which is, which is covered by the specific uh, technologies which have been described in the announcements is decision advantage. You know, decision advantage in terms of the time it takes to make a decision in the battle space, but also the fidelity with which the fidelity of information that is there for the decision maker. Um, that's obviously critically important to any defence force as it is to ours. So when we look at the technologies that we are working on as three countries, they are highly relevant. Uh, to the specific needs of the Australian Defence Force. Today, in a much more dangerous world, with Russia waging war in Ukraine, with Hamas wreaking havoc in the Middle East, China undermining the freedom of navigation in the Indo-Pacific, we've never had a greater need for uh, more innovation to be more pioneering. Which is why, over the past two years, AUKUS uh, has been fusing together our transnational brainpower. And here at the Defence Innovation Unit, uh, we've discussed the results, a raft of game-changing new AUKUS projects. Together, our nations will be launching and recovering undersea vehicles from torpedo, torpedo tubes uh, on current submarines. We'll be enabling us to deliver more sophisticated strike intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. We'll be using quantum technologies, just mentioned, to support global positioning, enhancing the ability of our undersea capabilities, including on our future SSM AUKUS submarines, so they can stay silent and undetected. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our press briefing for today. Thank you again for joining us.